Welcome to Pro Sessions. I'm George Adjif at Westlake Pro, CEO and co-owner, along with Joe Topier. Today we're going to be talking to Terry Wallman. Terry's been a longtime friend. I've known him forever from Boston into L.A., and uh, we, we've, we've gone through a lot together, and I'm really anxious to talk to him. We're anxious also in our Pro Sessions series to share artists' viewpoints of not only workflow and technology, but life experience along with what it takes to really sustain and maintain a career in the audio and music industry. Welcome, Terry. Thank you, George. Great to be here. Thanks for joining us in our immersive sound uh, room, which we've uh, just launched not long ago, along with uh, with uh, Harmon and uh, Avid, mm -hmm. and we're really excited to have you here. I wanted to talk a little bit about you know your career uh, as it's gone through. You know, we we were schoolmates together yes. back at Berkeley mm -hmm. and uh, we both moved out here and I know you've done a lot of really really cool things that we really want to talk to you about but I want to talk to you a little bit about the creative process um, more than anything sort of the creative process and sort of the juxtaposition sometimes with technology mm -hmm. and and how you go about that um, you typically work with an engineer as a producer when you're producing a record, right? I do, although um, by default I have become an engineer myself over the, the last 20 years mm -hmm. um, with having my, my own studio and then learning to record my guitar parts or record a good vocal or a good sax part. Um, but even if I'm engineering myself, uh, I don't typically engineer in another studio. You know, but in my own studio I will. Uh, I prefer to focus on the actual production aspect and, and let somebody else focus on making sure it sounds great. Uh, but I always bring an engineer in in the mixing process, even though I'm very hands-on and have a very strong point of view about pannings and, and EQs and reverbs. And you know, I still always want to bring in somebody to turn it from great to amazing. And to me, that's a somebody who is a full-time engineer. So yeah. yes. So when you're producing uh, an artist and you have you're using an engineer, maybe you're in a commercial studio. Mm -hmm. uh, how often do you get involved with actual the technology part of it? Are there any go-to microphones that you like to use? Anything specific that you kind of have a tendency to like, let's try this microphone, especially if you use an artist several times, but mm -hmm. maybe you've, you've produced an artist uh, a few times, but maybe it's been in different studios. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you go about uh, maybe? You know, I'm, I really believe, I think it's more, this is more of a philosophical uh, approach to doing this, but if I'm in a studio, a pro studio, and there's a pro engineer in there, I want to uh, get his input. And, you know, I know that there's certain Neumanns that I like and certain preamps that I like, etc. But I always will defer to an engineer and then give them my very strong point of view because I know what it sounds like. So I'll describe. Uh, I'm, I, I often just use audio examples and say, I really like the way we did this in a previous album where there's a clarity and a, um, a three-dimensional quality to the vo her voice or his voice or that guitar sound. I'll give a description on it, but then I'll say, but what's your recommendation? Because I, I want them to not ever feel like I think I can do their job better than they can. So you have a really, in, in your mind, you have a really good idea of what that sound is. Yes. And, and how long do you pursue that until you uh, maybe start to take over the session, or do you ever have to do that? In other words, mm -hmm. you know, where the, where the performance, I'm not talking about so much performance, Bef before you get into the performance sometime, mm -hmm. you know, it, you have to capture that performance, and you want it to be captured right. on, you know, a technical level as well as a, an artistic level. Well, so. um, sometimes I'm with an engineer that I get to choose. Other times I'm assigned an engineer because, or inherited an engineer based on a studio or a situation. It, it really depends. I mean, I worked with, I produced Tony Bennett this past year for uh, an HBO movie. And, you know, so his engineer is his son, Dave Bennett. So nobody knows better how to record Tony Bennett than Dave Bennett. So I would never presume to tell him what mic to use. And I didn't need to, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, he, was, he was more open and the crew was more open to suggestions about mics or placement for the band, you know, and the piano, but they had their sound dialed in. So I, you know, I'll, I will sometimes say, you know, I've had great success with this kind of an instrument on my mic. What do you think? And then they'll go, oh, well, we've got one of those or, 
or uh, I've got something like that that you might like. So it's generally, it's a collaboration, it's, it's an interaction, and, and we do it very quickly. Um, because most of the engineers that I work with when, uh, at this point of our careers, uh, are incredible uh, engineers. So they have uh, a vast amount of experience and their own personal taste. But for vocal mics particularly, I'm not, you know, I'm with guitar mics, I always want to see what they're going to put in front of my acoustic guitar or my cabinet and see, and then I'll ask them questions. So I'm learning from them. Um, again, I'll maybe give, or they'll ask me sometimes, which mic do you like on your cabinet or on your nylon string? And, but other than that, I'll have them put up generally three mics, you know, and I don't tell them what preamps to go through. I just tell them I want a very natural, pristine, clear sound. Um, and then I let them choose. Uh, and then I AB the mics or ABC the mics and I tell them which I like. And I, and I also include the artist in that decision making process. You'd rather have them spend time on actually singing the song than, yeah. or performing the song rather Absolutely. than worrying about the technical part of it. Right. I don't want to lose the, the vibe or the momentum. Uh, not that I don't give great consideration or even um, put time into pre-production conversations with engineers and say, what mics are you thinking about using? You know, may I make a suggestion? So that when we walk into a studio, we already have taken care of some of that. And, I, and I'll just say, just put up, give me three choices. Those all sound great, you know, and then I'll pick the one that I think works the best.